Welcome back to Northwest Elite Spirit, the channel you come to to train your mind, body, and spirit. I'm Coach Brian. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, do that now. So this is kind of ending up being a little series. I did Don Juan's Secrets to Teaching, and this one is Carlos Castaneda, a failed acolyte. When you begin to talk about Carlos Castaneda in his books, you get a lot of feedback about how his life came to an end and the circumstances surrounding that lifestyle. And so I look at that and its connection to the books going all the way back. Now, from the beginning, Don Juan expresses a premonition or you could say prediction about the way Carlos's life can turn out if he doesn't stop manipulating people if he doesn't stop feeling like he's better than other people if he if he would stop his ego and if he would stop his indulgences eating too much and drinking too much and you could say it's a prediction but you could also say for Don Juan it was another practice in duality because Don Juan also talked about if you became disciplined and if you became focused with your intent, then you would die with like a strong spirit and a strong heart and even a strong body. So from the beginning of the story, we have an understanding that Carlos Castaneda would need to change some things in himself and in his life to master these things that Don Juan is getting at. Now, at times, Carlos Castaneda uh, faces these realities that he looks at, that he's indulgent and that he is egotistical and that he likes to manipulate people. And at times, he breaks down and even weeps at the fear of having to change if he wants this thing that Don Juan's offering him and seeing forward knowing how it will turn out if he doesn't. But still ignoring the reality of his indulgent, egotistical, manipulative ways, as we all do, you know, sometimes. We all pretend that we can keep doing a thing and things will change and that's not how it works. And as far as him being ill, his practices were strong and so the things he that he did with his life the 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 energy it took to pour out that manipulation express that ego express that control over others it, it made him sick and again shows a failure with the alignment you know of a spiritual path demonstrating ultimately that it is mind body and spirit you can get your mind right you can get your body right but if your spirit isn't right, you can still become sick. Talk about his controlling nature. That was in opposition to anything Don Juan was teaching. Don Juan was teaching personal power and personal freedom. Carlos's said tactics promoted a sense of dependency, whereas Don Juan promoted independence. Castaneda throughout the series expresses doubt about his abilities to become a man of knowledge. Throughout the series, Castaneda's admittance that he is unable to overcome his indulgences, you know, food, women, drink, tasty things, fine clothes, um, may get in the way or will get in the way. And still, despite this understanding, when we look at the end of his life, it seems these were flaws he wasn't able to overcome. So yeah, there is a huge discrepancy between what Don Juan promoted and what Carlos Castaneda ended up, though, in duality throughout the series, both, both outcomes are presented. So though Carlos had a in-depth and real-time understanding of these sorcerer shamanistic medicine man practices ultimately in his own life he was unable to 
apply those things to become the master that Don Juan was trying to teach him to be. So not only is this a story about what can happen with a failed acolyte in these practices, it can serve as a cautionary tale for the rest of us who see seek uh, power and freedom over self. Once again, I'm Coach Brian with Northwest Elite Spirit, the channel you come to to train your mind, body, and spirit. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, do that now. If you found this video interesting, give it a like, comment below what you think, and share it with like-minded individuals. As always, practice. If you want to buy my book, The ABCs of Strength and Endurance, written with the help of AI, you can find that on Amazon and Kindle. Thank you. Oh, right there, Dad.